Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Fluent in San Francisco. I'm here with Andreas Kunz. Andreas, how are you doing? I am fine, thanks. So you developed a new library, yeah. OpenUI? OpenUI 5, actually. OpenUI 5. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what the intentions are behind the library? Yeah, so um, this library is like meant to to cover the entire browser side stack of the web development. So it's ranging from uh, UI controls, the surface like the buttons or input fields or calendars, so more complex stuff. It also contains um, components to manage the application structure, like model view controller concept, and also two-way data binding, connection between uh, server and client and everything. And so what technical areas in, in development is this most useful for? I mean, what are, what are developers going to grab this and use it for? Okay, so I think the areas where UF5 is strongest, there should be several ones. So I think there's, for example, um, users nowadays expect that they can use their apps on all kinds of devices, like an iPhone, Android tablet, or their laptops, or whatever. And so you as an application developer have to take care that the application runs everywhere, and UF5 does this for you. So it takes care that the different interaction, the mouse or touch interaction is taken care of, or the responsive layout of our controls is adapting to the screen size. So this is one of these areas. And they are more like um, applications are getting bigger, bigger, more complex, and the user interface features need to be more powerful. Applications are used around the world. So UF5 comes with with support for translation, of course, right to left support, accessibility, um, very powerful UI components, so all kinds of things that are used in serious applications. And SAP, so my company, is developing a lot of very serious applications. So this is exactly what UI5 is very strong in. OK, so this is open source too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's open UI5 and open source in a large enterprise like SAP. You're building a set of libraries that you're contributing to open source. Mm -hmm. How's that working inside of a large enterprise like SAP? Yeah, OK, you could of course say that big companies that are there for profit and open source on the other side, that they don't fit well together. But there are many open source libraries backed by big companies and funded by them. And first of all, this means that there's money going into the project. So this is good for you as a consumer of this library. And um, we, as the developers of UI5, we are very open towards the outside community. So even though there's a big company behind, you can also contribute as a single developer outside or as companies outside. So for example, SAS, the big analytics software company, mm -hmm. they are now using UI5 for all their new web development, even though they don't have anything to do with SAP normally. And um, they are also collaborating closely with us and contributing. And on the other hand, Open source is influenced by companies, but I think open source also influences companies. So yeah, I've seen it in, inside SAP that uh, the company has changed a lot recently, has opened a lot, a lot of internal infrastructure has been changed from proprietary stuff to Maven, Git, and such tools. It's easier now to create open source projects, but it's also uh, easier to consume open source projects in our own products, which we do a lot. So UI5 is also containing a lot of open source libraries. So I think open source and big companies, they complement each other very well, so they benefit from each other. Yes, it's, it's definitely changing for everyone. So are there situations, though, where maybe uh, open UI5 is not applicable to use? Yeah, that's a fair question, actually. <laughs> um, there's no tool that is like made for every purpose. Um, UL5 is not exactly a low-level, tiny, all-purpose tool. It's, if you just create a web application with, with a button here or an animation there, then UL5 would probably be overkill. So if you create something which consumes more data or needs to be translatable, support right to left, accessibility, all these features, needs a bit more robustness, we do a lot of testing, um, then I would say OpenUI 5 would be worth looking into. OK, and where are you planning on taking UI5 in the future? What, what are your plans for evolving this? Um, this is, I think we are evolving as a library. It's getting more controls. It's getting a lot of tools around in the ecosystem. So there's a, like a theme designer where you can adapt the visuals of the UI. There's a web IDE called tool that is used to do drag and drop composition of the UI so you don't have to hand code everything. So I think it's an entire ecosystem around UI5 that is evolving. And, and what time frame do you see this being like commercially 
a lot of people using it and 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 it growing even more. Are you looking on a one to three year time frame or? Well, I think in SAP world, everything is a very long term thing. Things are not dying so right. quickly. We, SAP has created hundreds of applications with UI five already, so um, this this library is there to stay for a couple of years and to be maintained, which is also a good value for those using the library. And I think the adoption is naturally rising, so we keep getting new requests of companies who want to contribute. We keep seeing new examples of companies who are using it. I think it's gr growing slowly but very steadily across several many years. So what, what bug got in you to just create this? I mean, what was your inspiration to, to get going and create, creating this? Um, I think the, the history of SAP wasn't exactly famous for beautiful user interfaces and not at all for being usable on mobile devices. So, so there, was change that. there was the yeah. time to, to do something new. And actually, we started this six years ago already. So it's a very mature library, even though we have only open sourced it a year ago. And this is probably why nobody, almost nobody knows it at this time. But um, yeah, the intention was to change the perception of SAP UI. So we, uh, do all the modern technologies, HTML5 and everything. And I think the intention was to do something not typically SAP, but something very open, something very beautiful. And so this is benefiting for our own applications and also, of course, for the other users of this open source library. Excellent. Andreas, we look forward to seeing how you evolve this and you and SAP going forward. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.